create responsive e-learning courses with Adobe Captivate 9, you can author as you always have and content will rearrange itself for tablet and mobile views. You can tweak the content for specific device and use the in-product preview to see how your project will appear on various screens using five different breakpoints. Then you can publish it as a single project and automatically deliver the most appropriate experience for your learner's device. Let's take a look at how to create responsive e-learning courses using Adobe Captivate 9. To create a responsive project, go ahead and double-click Responsive Project. This will create a project for you with three different breakpoints for desktop, tablet portrait and mobile portrait. You can also add two new breakpoints by clicking these Add buttons. To modify the breakpoint size, you can either move the slider back and forth or you can double click the hot text and enter the value. Similarly, for changing the name of the breakpoint, just double click and enter a new name. To change the height of the device, you can move the slider up and down or you can go to the properties inspector and enter the value for the device height. You can also detach the device height with the slide height by clicking this button and increasing the value of the height. This will give you some extra pixels in height for this particular slide. This increase in the number of pixels will not be visible in the other slides. Now let's take a look at how to add objects for responsive project and make them flow well across breakpoints. I'll go to media and characters. Let's go ahead and select the character image that you want to add. I'll go ahead and click OK. And this character image is added to my breakpoint. Notice that when I switch to the other breakpoints, the size of the character automatically adjusts to the breakpoint size. You can further adjust the size and position of this particular object by going to the position inspector and modifying these properties. You can link this object to the top left corner, top right corner or bottom left and bottom right corner. You can also align this object to the center of the slide so that it is always centralized on the screen across breakpoints. You can also link other objects to this particular object using the smart position option. Let's go ahead and add a caption here and try and link it with this particular object. I'll go ahead and add a caption, add some text. And now when I go to the other breakpoints, notice that the position of this particular object is moving away from this object in some of the breakpoints. Let's go ahead and attach this caption to this character image. I'll go ahead and select the caption, go to the position inspector and select smart position. Notice that this particular object is attached to the left and top corner. Let's go ahead and attach it to the image. Pick up the handle and position it on top of the character image. Similarly, pick this handle and put it on the right side of the image. Now when you move to the other breakpoints, notice that the caption moves along with the character image. Once you're done with the creation of the screen, you can easily preview it on a browser or in Edge Inspect. Let's see how the preview looks like in the browser. Notice the different buttons that you have available for different breakpoints. When you switch to the different buttons, you see how the content will look like on these particular screens. You can also move the slider to see how content will flow in between these breakpoints. Once you're done with creation of your course, go ahead and click publish and select publish for devices. Notice that the gestures are automatically enabled for your responsive courses. Go ahead and hit publish and make your courses available for your mobile learners.